Every business needs a way to trim costs, and the product protector is the simplest, easiest way to do just that. You walk any business, large or small, worldwide, and I guarantee you'll find one thing, and that's product damage. You combine a moving forklift with a stationary product, and the forklift wins every single time. This raises safety concerns and adds big cost to any operation. There's the cost of unsellable damaged product, plus there are additional hidden costs of labor for restacking loads and cleaning up spills and splinters from broken pallets. The Product Protector is a revolutionary forklift accessory that solves the product damage problem. It protects the lower third of the unit load where 90% of damage occurs. The patented design disperses impact to the load, creating a fortress against damage. The Product Protector is installed in minutes and there's no extra maintenance. It's designed to each forklift manufacturer's specifications to meet OSHA requirements. Our test results show that regardless of what's on the pallet, boxed, bottled, or bagged items, the product protector works equally well. The return on your investment is almost immediate. After that, the savings go straight to your bottom line. Zenith operates three distribution centers, servicing over 560 stores, shipping over 150 million cases throughout seven different states in the Midwest. In the logistic business, our business is really servicing the client. Our business really revolves around uh, providing timely, cost-efficient, and quality service to our customers. In the warehouse, we move over 150 million cases a year, and those are all moved in a very high-density movement. There's a lot of potential for spills, there's a lot of potential for damage. One of the things we try to reduce is that product damage, the sanitation problems, and we try to eliminate that and reduce that in the warehouse. We think this, the product protector aids us in sanitation in that it stops product damage. That reduces product spills, which could become long-term sanitation problems. The benefit to the forklift drivers, quite honestly, is the fact that they are not getting down on and off their forklifts. Let me tell you that forklift drivers hate getting down and on and off those forklifts. So they're not doing that. It saves them time. Our forklift drivers operated on an incentive program. And the less they have to get down, the less they actually stop moving, the better that helps them and the better it helps their incentives and increases their pay. Also reduces the potential for their injuries in that they're not lifting cases and, you know, using manual labor and the machine is doing the work as opposed to the human beings. We believe the product protector helps us in improving cost effectiveness of our DC, improving sanitation in our DC, getting a better quality product to our customer in a more timely fashion. We would highly recommend other DCs consider installing a product protector on their forklifts and utilizing them in their operations. So we did testing on the product protector. What we found was that it helps keep our drivers on their forklifts. It also prevents product damage as well as stabilizing loads. Before the product protector was put on our forklifts, we had problems such as broken pallet boards, which causes excessive tire damage. Depending on how big the pallet uh, boards are or whatever, it could possibly lead to a potential rollover. The bottom line, it just helps to ensure that we're getting them home to their families safely. We will recommend the product protector to any warehouseman, our operation managers or managers because it is the best tool that we found for the lift truck. It's really helped in the shop as far as cutting down on the hose repair. Problems we had with the hose before, pallets would catch them, some of the product would, the boxes would come in on an angle and hit the hoses back here. This is all part of the side shift. You would have oil squirting out. If the older runner's next to him, he'd get drenched with oil even the operator. To replace the hose, you're looking around $93. Labor, cost, and that's per hose. There's two of them there. So it's just, it's a constant maintenance in it. This has helped protect in that area. And it's been working out well. Zenith Logistics handles the groceries for one of the largest grocery companies in the United States. In our facility, we have approximately 100 lift trucks operating 18 hours a day. We have a 10-hour shift and an 8-hour shift. 
and uh, it's busy. When somebody wants their order, we get it to them immediately. The product protector keeps me on the lift truck doing my job. The product protector stabilizes the load to where I can go a little bit faster, go around corners a little bit faster, and get the job done a little bit quicker. This is a bagged product that is damaged easily by lift trucks. The product protector prevents that from happening. The product protector hits the pallet, not the product, no damage. The product protector works well in the racking system and on the floor. If you get hung up on anything, it has a breakaway and works very well. It makes a difference. If you don't think it makes a difference, talk to me. I always tell them that. You know, talk to me, I'll tell you it makes a difference. You know, and as if everybody had one, I would really, I'm not seeing the results I want to see yet. Some of the product you can see uh, on the floor over there, the, the two liter, is not using a product protector. If it used a product protector, it wouldn't look like that. With the current economy the way it is, and billions of dollars being wasted each year on product damage, how much can you afford to lose? The savings start the minute you put the product protector on your forklifts. Hello, my name is Marshall White. I'm president of White & Company LLC and a member of the packaging science faculty at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia. Much of my research has been based on studying how packaging, pallets, and unit load handling equipment mechanically interact, and this includes how unit loads interact with forklift devices. Today I want to describe a performance evaluation of the product protector modification of standard forklifts. This evaluation is based on standard laboratory scale testing. These evaluations were performed at the International Safe Transit Certified Center for Packaging and Unit Load Design on the Virginia Tech campus in Blacksburg, Virginia. The unit load is the most common form of storage and shipping of consumer and industrial products. The forklift handling is the most common mode of movement of unit loads in these supply chains. Unfortunately, this handling sequence is also the most common cause of pallet, packaging, and product damage. The most common damage to wood pallets caused by forklift handling is damage to the top deck end board as shown here. The product protector shown here is simply suspended between the fork tines across the side shifter. The operating principle of the product protector is a reduction of the impact stresses on the pallets and the packaging. This is accomplished by increasing the bearing area between the fork tines and the pallet and the packaging. As you can see here, when you compare the bearing area across the entire product protector with the bearing area of the fork tines themselves, we have, in increasing that area, reduced the stress. In fact, we reduced the stress by approximately 75 to 80 percent. The test apparatus used to compare the performance of the forklift with and without the product protector is the American Society for Testing and Materials compliant incline impact test machine as described in ASTM D1185 pallet testing protocol. The device is actually a controlled simulation of forklift handling. The impact force is varied by changing the mass in the load box and by changing the distance to impact which alters the impact velocity. Two standard 48 by 40 North American wood pallet designs were used in this evaluation. They are the so-called GMA three stringer pallet you see here on the right and the block style pool pallet that you see on the left. Two comparative tests were performed. The first test is a measurement of the effect of the product protector modification on pallet damage levels. 
The test is quite simple. The pallet is pulled back a certain distance and released to impact the fork tines. This is repeated until pallet failure occurs. The impact velocity is measured and the total cumulative kinetic energy at failure is calculated and compared between fork tines with the product protector and fork tines without the product protector. In this particular test, you saw that the product protector was mounted on the fork tines. You will notice there's no damage to the pallet even at this impact velocity. The results indicate that with the product protector, pallets can withstand an average of 50% more applied energy. Or stated another way, identical pallets used in the same supply chain. When forklift handling is the primary cause of pallet failure, will last about 50% longer when using the product protector modification. The second test shown here is to measure the effect of product protector modification on the forces to which the product within the unit load will be exposed during simulated handling with forklifts. An accelerometer within the container on a pallet measures the acceleration. A change in the acceleration measured is proportional to the change in force exerted on the product in the package. The test is performed in the same way that the pallet impact tests were performed on an incline impact tester using velocities that are typical of forklift handling. This is an example of a shock pulse from the package impact test. What we are most interested in is the peak acceleration level shown here and comparing the peak accelerations between the impact test on fork tines with and without the product protector. The greater this peak acceleration, the greater is the force on the package product. So we're wanting to reduce this peak to a lower and lower level. From the tests, it is clear that the force on the package product is an average of 18 to 23 percent lower when the forks of the forklift are modified with the product protector. These results imply a potentially significant reduction in damage to shock sensitive products and an improvement in unit load stability during forklift handling when forks are modified using this device. Taken in total, the results of these tests that you just saw performed indicate that when forklifts are modified with product protector, pallet related damage to packaging and pallets and products within that packaging will be reduced by approximately or as much as 50%. Perhaps as important would be the effect of this on overall supply chain operating efficiencies. These will be improved because we've reduced repacking costs due to load instability. We have uh, reduced replacement costs for pallets, packaging, and product as a result of damage that's typically caused. We've reduced cleanup costs associated with such damages in warehouses and throughout the supply chain. So the device seems to have a very, very positive impact on the overall operating efficiency of unit load-based supply chains.